Welcome back, everybody. Fox 59, your local election headquarters. We are 48 days away from Election Day. It's coming fast. Today, we are talking about the race for Indiana governor. Last week, there was this new poll out by Indy Politics Change Research showing tightening numbers. But are they accurate? With Governor Eric Holcomb leading his Democratic challenger, Woody Myers, by six points, Holcomb's campaign said their internal polling shows the governor leading by as many as 40 points. This morning, we're talking live with both campaigns. 20 minutes ago, we talked with Governor Holcomb's campaign manager. And now, as you see him smiling there, Democrat challenger Dr. Woody Myers joining us live. Dr. Myers, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. It's hey, good to be here. Hey, good to see you. Let's talk, start with those numbers, those polling numbers. Are you six points down, do you think, or is it more like uh, the governor's campaign is saying <laughs> that it's 40 points down? Well, let me tell you this. The, the uh, latest poll that came out uh, for our campaign, of course, is good news. It shows that the hard work that the team has been putting in uh, over the past uh, several months is paying off. People are getting uh, the message, but we can do better. We can get more. Uh, you know, I have no idea what kind of polling uh, uh, my opponent is doing. Uh, if it's 40, why not 50 or 60? I mean, <laughs> if you're making up numbers like that, uh, uh, you can make them up as big as you want. Uh, but, but this is a poll that uh, that's been done by an independent entity that doesn't doesn't tie to uh, to either uh, campaign. So we look at it and, and it's good news. It's just one poll, but it's good news. The economy is said to be the most important factor for people voting this year. As a physician, you have said the economy directly impacted by our health and our health care system. Is that, would you say, the top reason or one of the top reasons you're running for governor? And what specifically would you change? It is one of the top th uh, reasons uh, that uh, that I'm running. It's one of the top concerns of Hoosiers. Uh, we are in a recession. The economists tell us that. I know that my opponent wants to downplay that fact, but but we're in a recession, and it's a, it looks like what they call a K-shaped recession, and that's different than the V-shaped recession that we've heard about. A K-shape means that the people at the top are doing even better. And that's why you see the changes that are positive in the stock market. You see a lot of things that that are happening for people who have a lot of money, who are who are doing well in the economy, get even better. But the rest of us uh, are not. Uh, and that's why you're still seeing folks uh, 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 clamoring for their unemployment benefits, worried about evictions, worried about utility bills. Uh, and a number of, of uh, Hoosier families have a, a great deal of anxiety. And that's why. Uh, I know that we've got to change things. That's why I know we've got to fix things. We've got to change our approach to economic development. We have to create new, different jobs uh, in Indiana. We have to make sure that our high school students get uh, appropriate training after high school so they're prepared for that new economy. There are just a lot of things that have to change uh, in Indiana. We're below our other states and our ability to achieve after high school to get these new jobs. And I want the companies that are involved in advanced manufacturing to see Indiana as a target opportunity for them. And, and that's why we've got to fix it. You've also criticized the governor's handling of COVID-19, saying that he downplayed deaths in long-term health care facilities. <laughs> That's made major news. As the former yes, state health commissioner, you've also said that you would create a task force to examine the quality of our nursing homes and how Medicaid funds are being used. Um, big time investigations by the Indy Star. Tell me more about that and your feelings. Well, there are a lot of issues right there. I, I, I would have done things a lot differently than my opponent. Uh, and I think if we had done those things differently, we wouldn't have the 3,300 deaths uh, that we have today. Uh, most of those deaths have occurred in nursing facilities, long-term care facilities. That's where we should have concentrated our resources. Our testing program got put up very late. Our testing program did not target the areas that it needed to, where most of the cases were, especially in the African-American and the Latinx communities, a lot of mistakes uh, have been made. If had they not been made, uh, we would have been better off. I, I think my opponent must have been listening to uh, his former boss uh, in Washington, D.C., and his boss, uh, the president, who clearly have mismanaged this pandemic from the start. And now that there's evidence of that mismanagement, of course, they're denying it. But it just tells us that we absolutely have to have a change of leadership, both here in Indiana and nationwide. And with respect to our nursing homes, uh, we need more transparency. We need to understand these relationships between the hospitals and the nursing homes better. And we need to concentrate our energy 
energy and our efforts on quality and displaying that quality so the public can see it. That means we have to talk about what's going on with COVID. We have to show the public how COVID is being managed. And I look forward to a great working relationship with the leaders of the Indiana Hospital Association, the Indiana Healthcare Association, who are uh, who are uh, the organizations that manage the hospitals and the nursing homes relationships with the state. Because I know if we collaborate, I know if we talk about the ways to get the information out better, we can do better for the citizens of this great state. I got three questions with both of you. Didn't get to more. Um, the time goes fast. We do appreciate you hanging out with us this morning. Dr. Myers live with us. Well, we well, just have to have me back, uh, Angela. I'd be happy to come back. <laughs> okay, we'll see you. We'll try to plan that. If you are, um, again, just joining us, we did have uh, Governor Holcomb's campaign manager on earlier. We will have both interviews at fox59.com for you, too, after the show.